Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's fun video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a cartoon Harry Potter. So I hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with our cartoon Harry Potter, we're going to begin with the eyes. So I'm going to start right here, and I'm just going to make a little circle for an eye here. I'm going to leave some space, and then I'll make another circle right over here for the other eye. Next, inside of here, I'm going to make a small circle. And I'm going to color most of this in, but I'm just going to leave a little bit white. So we're going to color most of that in, leaving just a tiny bit white. Now starting here, I'm going to make a little curved line for the nose. And then I want to make his glasses. So we're going to make his circle glasses. So I just want to draw a nice circle shape around each eye. I'm going nice and slow so I can make a really good circle shape so they don't look too crazy. And then what I might do is just draw right on top of that line again just to make it a little bit darker, kind of making these stand out a little bit better so they don't look like part of his eye. They look like his actual glasses. Then starting here, I'm going to make a little line that curves across to make the middle part of his glasses. Now starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to go down. I'm going to come over and up. Next, I'm going to draw a line that goes over. I'm going to come down and then bring it up here. We'll draw a little curved line for the tongue and then we can just color in this part of his mouth. Starting here, I'm going to add a half circle shape on each side for the eyes or for the ears. And then we're just going to make a little long line on each side for his glasses. Now for his hair. So to draw the hair, we're just going to make some long pointed lines. I'm going to leave a little space in the middle, and then I'm going to make some more long pointed curved lines. Then starting here, I'm going to make some lines that go up. We'll put a couple little points on them and then we'll just bring it down. And you can see I went from one ear to the next when I drew that. Then right in the middle here, I'm just gonna make his little scar, kind of like a little lightning bolt shape. Now, starting on each side of the neck, we're just gonna make a little line that comes down. We're gonna curve it over to make his scarf. Then right here, I'm just gonna make a line that goes down. We'll go over and then come up. Starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's gonna go out. I'm gonna come over and then up. And then I'll do the same thing here. I'm gonna go down, I'll go over, and then I'll come up. Right across here, we'll draw a little line to start where start his pants. And then right here, we'll draw a line that's going to go down, that's going to go over. And one here, we're going to go down and then over. Next, I'm going to make a line that's going to come up and then down, a little line across. Starting here, I'll make a line that's going to go down, and then I'm going to curve it back for his feet. And another one, we're going to go down and then just curve it around. Right here, I'm going to add a little V shape or two for part of his shirt with another little line across. So 
Starting here, I'm gonna draw a little line that comes down and in. And then up here, I'm gonna make a little line that's gonna go up. We're gonna come down and then back. Right here, I'm just gonna draw a little line that curves in. And then over here, I'm just gonna draw a little line that's gonna curve around for his thumb. Then right here, I'm just going to draw a line that's gonna curve around and up. And then right up here, I'm gonna make his wand. So let's make a little line that's gonna come up. We're gonna go down. You can see it's getting a little bit fatter as I come down. We're gonna make it go down, over, and then up. The little line that connects. Now, starting here, I'm gonna make some kind of little zigzag lines right up here. And I left a little space here, and I'm just gonna make a little kind of like wavy line to make it look like he's getting ready to cast a spell. Now, on a scarf, I'm going to add some little lines that are just gonna come down. And then we'll add some going this way too, so we can see his house colors. And then right over here, I'm gonna make Hedwig kind of popping out from behind his shoulder. So I'm just going to draw a little line that's just gonna curve up and then down. I'm going to draw two circles for eyes for Hedwig. Then I'll make two little half circles inside each one. We'll just kind of color in the middle part, make kind of like a cute Hedwig. Then I'm just going to make a little tiny beak in the middle. And I'll draw a little line that's gonna come up and then down, up and down, up and down for his little wing, or her little wing. Then I'm just gonna put a couple little V shapes on here. And there you go, there is your drawing of a little cartoon Harry Potter. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.